Hey everyone, I hope you're having fun out there in Fargo. My name is Daniel Gannarelli, and I'm the lucky guy who gets to say that he's the marketing specialist with the Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation. And I'm feeling incredibly honored today because Dennis Mom Pleasure, our awesome volunteer coordinator, asked me to speak to you all day about being a Schaefer kid. Now, some of you could have guessed that's probably what I was here to talk about, but I know there's a few of you in the room that may not know, so I'm gonna tell ya. But you gotta come back in time with me, okay? Gotta hop in the time machine, and let's go back to October of last year. We are in the off-season of the Medora musical. The show is done and over with for the last couple of weeks, but one of our other major attractions, Bully Pulpit Golf Course, is kind of in the thick of it. You see, Bully Pulpit gets a ton of play in the summer, but in October, we actually get some of our highest volume play of corporate tournaments and group tournaments. So you can imagine we lose all our workers, like I said, but this top 100 public golf course that we operate is just as, if not as busy as peak times during the summer. So busy golf course, fewer people to work it. How do you make that work? Well, if you're a very in intuitive man like our golf course superintendent, Kyle Fick, you're gonna go look for victims who wanna get up at 5 a.m. in 40 degree, misty, cold, damp weather to see if they wanna mow greens for four to five hours. And if you're a sucker like myself or our great CFO, Clarence Sitter, you're gonna say yes to Kyle. So yeah, Kyle comes around, asks us if we can help. Clarence and I say yes because we worked at golf courses before in high school and a few days later we're out there mowing greens and let me tell you it was as cold as you think it could be but something great came from that so I'm heading back to my office at the Life Skills Center in Medora when I hear two voices behind me as I'm checking my email I go to turn around and wouldn't you know it Diane Schaefer and Mike Bedoin, our chief operating officer, are there. Mike's giving Diane a tour. Now, I always want to put my best foot and face forward on when I'm representing TRMF. And in that moment, I thought I was doing everything but that. I was in a sweater and sweatpants and hunting boots. I had grass stain clippings all over and grease and grime on my face. I smelt worse than I normally do. Not a good look, not a good look. So I immediately and profusely apologized to Diane. Hey Diane, I'm sorry for the way I look right now. I just actually got done working out at the golf course. Um, they needed help getting ready for tournaments and I was just popping in to check my email and I, I'm, I'm sorry for my appearance right now. Daniel, don't worry about it. A Schaefer kid goes where they're needed. Diane and Mike walk away and I just sit down in my chair. My God, Diane Schaefer just said in one sentence, everything I love about Medora, how we just come together to make the impossible possible, how we just go where we are needed. There is no job too big for us to accomplish as a team or too small for an individual to do. Nobody's above anything out here in Medora. And that makes me feel good. And it also makes me feel confident because I think that's one of our biggest competitive advantages. We take care of our own in a way that Disney World or Universal Studios or Deadwood, they just, they don't do or they couldn't do. I don't know, it's not my job. All I know is we do it here in Medora and it makes a difference. You in that room make a difference. And we're able to do this because we all take the lead of the very first Schaefer kid. All of you in that room are Schaefer kids, you just didn't know it. And you're gonna see what I mean here when I talk about the very first Schaefer kid. The attitude this young woman had has set a company in motion you know, for 50 years and will do so for another 50 years. This Schaefer kid I'm talking about, her name was Shyla. Let me tell you a quick story about Shyla. So come back with me to 1950, 
1965, not 56, it's 1965, July 1st even. It's the very first performance of the Medora musical as we know it today. And everybody is busy getting ready to put on the show. Harold's in town, but he's probably off making a big business deal or something because conspicuously, Shyla is not with him. Where is, where is she? Now, if any of you know Harold and Shyla, you know she could literally be anywhere in the world. I mean, heck, Harold married her 23 times, from the stage of the musical all the way to the foot of the Matterhorn in Switzerland. He took her everywhere. And as we all know, he was a pretty well-off guy. He made, made a pretty penny or two. So they definitely had the means. So where do you think Shyla's at? Switzerland, Spain, you know, is she in Bismarck? No, she's on her hands and knees in the floor of the Rough Rider Hotel bathrooms, scrubbing toilets and the floor to get ready because that's where she was needed. Again, no job too big or too small or too undignified. So some of you may know, in walks a young lady and Harold and Shiloh had just been married a few months before and it was the talk of not just Medora but North Dakota. In walks this lady, sees Shiloh on the ground and says, excuse me, miss, have you seen Harold Schaefer's new wife? I heard she's a lovely lady and that she's around here somewhere. Shiloh looks up from her hands and knees and says, that old bag, I've never seen her before in my life. The lady just kind of, oh, all right, walks out, gets out of there like we all probably would and goes on with her day. Now, it's at night, the musical, is going on and the cast does for the first time what they would do for roughly the next 51 years. They acknowledge Harold and Shiloh in their seats and they thank them for all they've given to Medora in North Dakota. Then the lights dim and the show goes on as we know it today and as we've known it for the last 53 years. As the show is going on though, Shiloh gets a tap on her shoulder. It's that yell. You could have told me who you are. Oh darling, you never would have believed me. Oh man, it's great. Just that's the Shiloh we all know. That's the Shiloh we all loved. And that's the Shiloh we all honor with our actions. That's what you've done. Most of you are retired. I feel like I can assume that, okay? That means, jokingly, but not joking, you have nothing but time. You choose to come to Medora to work. Not to vacation, but to work. That says something about you. That's what a Schaefer kid would do. You're in that room right now in Fargo for a reason, because you believe in Medora and what we're doing here to connect people to positive, life-changing experiences. I think now more than ever, it is so important for us to accomplish that goal, to get even more people to Medora, to enjoy the Battlelands and enjoy what I know and what you know. You've done that. We had a great season this year, in part because of you and your efforts to promote Medora, work Medora, and support Medora. From one Schaefer kid to another, thank you for that. I can't wait to see you again next year out here in Medora. Take care and have a great day, guys. Bye.